Hiya guys, Andy here, and today we're looking at what a capo is, also known as a capo if you're an American, and um, how to use it, and just a bit of an absolute beginner's guide as to why you might want to go out and buy one of these things. Now, the very inexpensive is the first thing I'd like to point out. If you can afford a guitar, you can definitely afford, or your parents can afford, a capo. You can get them from as little as two or three pounds, so maybe five dollars um, on eBay or Amazon or online or from your local guitar shop and I really recommend this trigger type it's called. So that's this type of capo where we can squeeze and easily put on and place and move uh, this capo. Um, far better than any ones that might be um, made of cotton or uh, far better than I've seen some people say you can put a pencil and two elastic bands. Really recommend getting one of these. They're, they're quite strong of grip, so they'll really hold your strings down well, and it's gonna sound really good with this. Um, so what is it, first of all? Well, it basically hires up the pitch of your guitar, which we can also say changes the key, um, because your, say your, your E major chord, for example, that's how it sounds when I play it in open position, no capo as I normally would. Um, if I put the capo at first fret, it sounds slightly higher. And if I keep adjusting it, fret two, higher again, and so on and so forth. And many guitarists kind of use it creatively to get a kind of mandarin sound, which for example, would be how James Blunt plays You're Beautiful. There's not really another way to get that kind of sound without a capo, but it can be also seen if you have covered bar chords, um, how your first finger acts when you're playing a bar chord. But it doesn't always ring out quite as well with your, your fingers as it does with a capo because it really squashes them down really good. And it kind of allows us to do other things. So. Um, I'll be using this with you guys really as a beginner's tool to be able to play songs that you couldn't play, especially in the right key with the record. And for example, you would need one of these uh, to be able to play at level one of my beginner's course at andyguitar.co.uk. Um, Ed Sheeran, UNI, which has a capo at second fret. Uh, Love Me Do by The Beatles, I've arranged with capo at 3rd fret. And I've also capo 3rd fret um, at level 1. I have a song called Never Can Tell by Chuck Berry, which I've arranged with capo also at 3rd fret, so we can play an A chord instead of the much trickier C chord, which a lot of people aren't ready for yet in their first weeks of playing guitar, but it still allows you to be able to play that song. And um, a little later on, you might want to use a capo when you're learning kind of blues riffs and you want to change the key. So you can move it up a little bit if we're in a different key and it's a little bit higher. So it's really useful. Um, singers often use it to change the key to make the key suitable for their voice. Um, most prevalent or, or most obvious when a female singer is learning or singing a male vocal song, they'll alter the capo to make it suit their female range and vice versa if a guy wants to sing a girl's song, they might have to alter the capo just to suit their voices as uh, best as possible. And um, that's something that we're going to be looking at a little later in this course, as is exactly because of course we will be playing different chords, these chords sound different when we use the capo. Now, the hows and whys to, to do that, I'm going to cover later in this course. Um, so what chord, for example, if you just to give you a quick example of that lesson, uh, if we play an E chord at first fret, it is, of course, and sounds like an E major, as long as your guitar's in tune. But if we put the capo at first fret, and we play the same E chord, portion it to the capo, it now sounds like an F chord, because we've hired everything up by one fret or one note, so it's gone from an E to an F. There's a little bit of background in music theory needed, which isn't presumed at this level at all, and as I say, you're best off turning to those few songs out of my uh, level one of my beginner's course, just to get a bit of practical knowledge of this. As I say, really recommend You and I by Ed Sheeran, 
or Love Me Do with by the Beatles, really. They're the two that I'd really say make sure that you, you take a look at. That's everything for this video. Do check out the rest of my videos in this free beginners course. Subscribe if you like what I do to support me. And uh, I'm sure I'll see you again. Bye for now.